So if you go and you fly into Kigali in Rwanda, you're like, wow, this place is developed. I can get from A to B, there's buses, there's you know, paved roads. But you get into the rural areas, two hours outside of the city, and people are walking for hours and hours and hours just to get to a local market stand. And oftentimes you can't even get to that market stand during the entire rainy season. At Bridges to Prosperity, we very literally build bridges and we're really about safe access. So if you don't have that basic transportation network to get to school or get to a market or even get to a healthcare clinic, um, just because of a river, we can help solve that challenge. We currently have staff in countries around the world, Haiti, Rwanda, Nicaragua, Bolivia, We've built over 130 long span cable bridges. And more importantly, we're all about teaching other people how to build these locally. With bridges, I think that you can easily expect a 30 year lifespan. And you can go in and in a $10,000 project, you can service 10,000 people for decades. And you know, it's not the only thing that's gonna help folks get out of their situation or to rise out of you know their poverty level um, but it sure is a catalyst you know if you didn't know how to get to work without your bridges and your roads in your everyday you know how would you expect folks in the middle of Ethiopia uh, to do any different